So apparently there was uh, Isaac Newton in one of the latest episodes of Doctor Who. And that's him right there on the screen on the right. Do you know, dear Brits, do you remember when you were all about the Empire and getting tea and curry? That suited you better. Yes, hi everybody and welcome to another video. Well, I would say this is laughable if it wasn't actually quite sad. Please do look at the screen, my dear friends. What you're looking at is, oh yes, yeah, Sir Isaac Newton. And on the right there is Sir Isaac Newton as he was depicted in one of the latest episodes of Doctor Who. Now, my history with Doctor Who is very interesting indeed. I started watching the TV show... Uh, when it was relaunched, really, with uh, Christopher Eccleston, and then I was a tremendous fan of it, and I was following each and every single episode religiously, up until the half of uh, Capaldi's run, and then I fall out. It's just, um, it got a bit repetitive for me. It got, at times, a little bit too convoluted, as if they were trying as much as possible to think of more and more ways to just, uh, well, simply said, and uh, very much pun intended, do it uh, as uh, timey-wimey, wibbly-wobbly as possible. Now, don't get me wrong, I like that, but it was apparent, and it, and it got apparent at about the half of uh, Peter Capaldi's run, that they were doing it for the sake of itself. Uh, and, and not to make the story more interesting. Uh, but uh, I have to say that uh, the parts I watched were very much enjoyable, to that extent that I went back and uh, re-watched uh, a chunk of uh, the old uh, Doctor Who, uh, uh, you know, uh, run, with various Doctors here and there, picking, choosing episodes with various Doctors. My favourite being probably the first Doctor, the, the very very old one, and the fourth Doctor. Would you like a jelly baby? And then, uh, well, I simply stopped. And what I kept doing was, I kept following the news when I saw something and read something, and oh, quite obviously lately, in the last couple of years, uh, very strange news started popping up, such as the female Doctor, or a race swap Doctor, and I mean, of course, yes, they are time lords and they are quote-unquote shapeshifters and they've got different uh, regenerations and reincarnations and what have you. And I was always pro things like that as far as Doctor Who goes. I didn't mind Missy. I didn't mind the female master. It, I, was, I was actually quite alright with it. But, uh, I mean, the male master is quite obviously superior, but Missy was, Missy was fun, and, um, you know, then, what was it, all those companions and, uh, that woke stuff with them, I, I, I have grown to hate the word woke, it's kind of, when you overuse a word, it starts uh, losing its meaning, and it starts losing the uh, graveness and the importance uh, that, that is connected with it, but there is really no other way to describe it, as Doctor Who has gone 100% woke, and to that extent that it's unbelievable. Now, I have made a couple of videos, quite a lot actually, on my channel uh, concerning race swapping various characters, not only fictitious characters, but historical characters, obviously. The most shocking to me probably was uh, the uh, Jarl Hokun from the Vikings, uh, when it got transformed uh, into a Netflix show, when it got from the History Channel. Already at the History Channel, you had to take it with a huge grain of salt, with like a bag of salt. But uh, it was an enjoyable TV show. But then, yeah, I mean, no, it, it just, it just impossible, impossible to watch. And these cases and these instances have been happening lately more and more and more to that extent that we are not even going very far back into the past today, you know, to uh, the medieval ages or, you know, like thousands of years ago to, as, you know, they did with Cleopatra recently again, we're going to Sir Isaac Newton, 
we know what Isaac Newton looked like, right? So, and they are not even uh, like trying to explain it in one way or another. They 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 just cast a, 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 an ethnic guy. <laughs> I mean, why not? And I mean, yeah. Once again, the most common um, <laughs> the the most common contra. Uh, statement against this that people use quite uh, logically and quite understandably is what if they, they, they did that to a black historical character? What if uh, Martin Luther King was uh, portrayed by, I don't know, Ryan Gosling or uh, Tom Hardy or whoever? You know, so, I mean, it's all very strange and very cringy, and uh, I mean, there is no chance I will get into the modern Doctor Who at, at this point. Not even for a review. That would mean that I would have to get caught up with uh, episodes upon episodes upon episodes of garbage. And uh, one other instance is uh, I have seen a news about Davros. One of the coolest Doctor Who villains. I mean, absolutely a hundred percent. What one of my favorites, and then apparently the showrunners decided to uh, make him not being on like quote unquote Dalek wheelchair, but normally walking because apparently, according to them, there is some sort of stereotype of uh, disability being connected with uh, villains. Well, I mean, here and there you can find a case like that, such as uh, Captain Hook from Peter Pan. I mean, Joker is all effed up, uh, fell into, you know, a, a vat of uh, acid. And, I mean, we could find other instances. I mean, Darth Vader is basically limbless, but, I mean, come on, are we really, are we really going to play into that? Nah, it's it's usually because when a villain is uh, severely disabled or uh, crippled in one way or another, he looks scary, that villain. If a villain is extremely scarred, let's say, it looks scary. I mean, or, you know, Freddy Krueger being all burnt. So, come on. I, I mean, it's all the same, all the same. And... Uh, it's just it's it's it strikes me more than for example uh, them uh, marring the Marvel Marvel uh, heroes and making Marvel Cinematic Universe into a complete garbage. Because although I have been a comic book fan my entire life, I really have to say that uh, I love the British culture and I love British history. Uh, it's it's after all I taught myself Old English at university, you know so. Although I am from Central Europe, Britain, you know, the British Isles and British history are very close to my heart. I love the people and I don't like seeing their culture being destroyed so much. And Doctor Who is so, so inevitably connected with uh, the British culture that uh, it's, it strikes me e e even more. So, yeah, let me know in the comments down below what you think. Don't be all. Thank you very much for watching and Namari.